I talk you guys can't hear going? me? Can you hear me? Yes, okay, it sounds better. I was talking to myself for like a good 30 seconds before you guys heard anything. <laughs> so, hi. How's it going? Great. How are you? We're well, thank you. Um, so, fight week here in Nashville. Just kind of tell me how you're feeling going into this week. I'm feeling great. Um, obviously, we got to get the, the weight off. But other than that, I feel great. And I'm excited to fight on Saturday. Kind of tell me what was going through your mind when the fight kind of changed and you got a different opponent, but it was it was kind of a win-win, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was a little nervous because I didn't know, you know, what was going to happen. I didn't know. I really liked that I was going to have an opponent that was, you know, uh, high in the rankings. So I was really excited about that. But um, I ended up getting someone that also is high in the rankings and is a former world champion. So I think it worked out. When you have to kind of switch your gears and time, type of training maybe for a different style of opponent, opponent with different attributes, kind of how do you guys make that adjustment? Um, I think I don't really formulate my training on my opponent. I just focus on getting better as a martial artist. And um, I know that, you know, there's styles that like predominantly a grappler, predominantly a stand-up fighter, but um, I choose to just – get better as a martial artist, and I think the victory will come just focusing on myself. Obviously, you know, Jessica is a former champion and whatnot. Does that kind of excite you, just kind of the the name value that comes with fighting Jessica Andrade? Yeah, absolutely, Um, because I've already beat a former world champion in Carla Esparza, a current champion in Alexa Grasso, and then this will be my third world champion that I am able to face and get a victory over. Nice. And obviously coming back, you know, straw weight and stuff like that, we're just being back in your division, kind of what does that mean to you? Yeah, I'm excited to be back at straw weight. Um, the first fight was just getting in there, you know, getting a victory. Um, and then this fight's just a little bit more, you know, focused on my end goal, which is to become a world champion. So I'm excited to be on that track um, of fighting in my own weight class and getting a step closer to becoming a world champion at straw weight. What do you think about like the difference in the career pass? Because like, I think Jessica has something like 24 fights in the UFC now, and she's been around since like 2013. But I mean, you, without the injuries, you could have had, you know, a fair amount of fights in the UFC as well. So is it disappointing at all that you don't have more fights or is it like, Hey, at this point, it's just what was set out for me. Yeah, so I think um, I can't change that. You know, that's something I just cannot change. So, but uh, I've focused on, you know, being a a great martial artist all this time. Um, And, you know, come fight night, I'm just going to show that, you know, I'm a great martial artist regardless of how many fights I have. Um, You know, I've competed all over the world in a different sport. So I have experience. even from a young age, you know, I started um, competing internationally when I was like 15 years old, uh, all over the world. So um, I'm not going to put too much value into that. What do you think about, like, you've been doing a lot of work switching stances, like you're a solid pot, you've been working a lot in orthodox. So how does that feel switching stances? And like, how important do you think it is to eventually transition and be able to fight with both stances? Yeah, I like to do it just because I I'm just having fun. You know what I mean? I'm having fun. I'm um, learning how to become, like you said, like I said earlier, just becoming a better martial artist, becoming a better fighter. Um, I like to, I like to mix everything in. It's like, you know, an art, you know, it's like my canvas. So I think just feeling comfortable in any stance, um, in any position and making sure that I'm seeing shots, Um, and picking my shots wisely um, is something that I've really focused on this camp. And so, um, yeah, I just like to do both because I want to be, you know, versatile. Is there a part of you that wants to get in there and stand with Jessica Andrade? Because, I mean, we saw her against Aaron Blanchfield, and Mm -hmm. Blanchfield being the grappler, she actually had some success on the feet with Andrade. So is there a part of you that wants to be like, you know what, I'm going to show off my hands as well and, you know, hang in there as well? I mean, I come there to – I never have like a – I'm never like, oh, I just want to get a takedown. That's just what happens. You know what I mean? Um, So for me, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to show my game, all of it. Every single thing.
I'm not going to go, I'm not going to, I'm not sitting out there to be like, oh, I'm only going to stand with Jessa because I'm so stubborn or whatever it may be. I'm just going to do whatever, whatever feels natural to me is what I'm going to do. And I know fighters don't like to look past the fight that's currently ahead of them, but I mean, Jessica's number five in the world right now. Right. So you get a win over Jessica Andrade. I mean, say you even finish her. Is there a chance that you're like, hey, you know what? I'm going to jump right into this title picture. Yeah, absolutely. I think that, um, you know, I can get a title fight after this. I know that Jan's in there too, in the mix. But, um, you know, I think that I'm also, I think that I should also be up there too. Because like I said earlier, um, I have, this would be my third world champion that I beat. And so who's to say that I don't deserve that shot? Do you have any thoughts on Rose moving up a division? Um, I'm really excited to see the fight. You know, she's going to fight uh, Manon, right? And um, I think that's going to be a great fight. And I'm excited to see how she does at the new weight class. Sweet. I know after your last fight, you cited having some back issues, you know, after the De La Rosa fight. I was just wondering, is that 100% now? Is that all cleared up? No, actually, I had the the back issues in during the fight camp. So I wasn't really able to train like I usually do, but it went you know, I went away and, uh, I focused, that's kind of why I took a little time off. Like I fought in February. Um, I just wanted to focus on my back health, making sure that I'm healthy so that I can train fully and have a healthy camp and train the way I want to do. You know, I want to, I want to train super hard. You know, I like, I like training hard. I enjoy it. I like being, I like going out there and, and pushing myself and making sure that I feel, a hundred percent ready when I step in the cage. And that makes me super confident when I get into the cage. So after this fight, you know, all things play out well, you know, you come out relatively unscathed. Mm -hmm. Is there a goal to maybe fight again this year? Yeah, absolutely. That's the plan. I want to fight again this year. Thank you.